Hey everybody, welcome to an RPG at Will. Let's play. I am looking at Lauren the Amazon Princess today. I know absolutely nothing about it, but I figure it's worth it to give it a try. Um, I have no knowledge about this, so... Uh, three attributes, maximum level is 30. Um, Standard. Oh. I don't like that. I'm gonna go with standard. Alright. Let's see. Inside the monastery, there is one lit room at this late hour. Just enough light to see the empty pages of a thick book. A hooded monk leans over the desk inside with a quill in hand. I am the monk. I am here to write a tale so epic that I cannot sleep until it is told. Which means I'm probably going to be awake for about a month. So here I write the tale of the Amazon princess, Lauren. I start this tale from the very beginning, back in a time when the world was blissfully unaware of the turmoil to come. Oh, that's pretty. We begin high in the mountains, deep in a mighty fortress. A sword slices the head of a training dummy clean off, and it falls in pieces around the feet of a tall raven-haired woman. Every morning, the servants would mend the training equipment so that it may be destroyed again by the princess's hand during the next training session. One sword was not enough for this fierce warrior. No, she considered a shield dead weight. And an empty hand of death wish. Princess Lauren would only fight with a sword in each hand. So, she's a dual wielder. Got it. Where are the other dummies? The nun left, my grace. She was displeased to learn that her training would end so early today. She crossed her arms and stared down at her attending servants. Then perhaps one of you should fetch a sword. The slaves sculpted in unison after having witnessed what damage their princess could do. But before anyone could move, the piercing cry of a griffin fell from the skies. Just then, a messenger ran into the training grounds, panting for breath. Princess Lorne, the captain! She has returned! Alone, your majesty! Lorne broke into a run. She ran as fast as she could to the main square inside the citadel. The Amazon scouts had landed with their griffins just as she arrived. The captain of the guards, Brezza, looked extremely grave as she approached her. Lauren knew instantly that the news of the scouts carried would not be a routine report. Your Majesty, tell me. A scout stepped forward and placed a hand over her heart in salute. Queen Karen has been lost. Lauren's face paled. She disappeared into the night. As of now, we do not know what happened to her. There's not a trace? We searched high and low, your majesty. She is not in Amazon territory. Then we have no choice in the matter. With the queen lost, Princess Lauren must become our new queen. No, my mother is still alive and still the queen! You did not find her body! I don't want to be queen! Fuck you! Uh, searching for her must be our top priority. Your highness, you know that it is against the law to leave the citadel. Your mother's fate is too uncertain. That is precisely why we must try to find her. I will search for her myself if I have to. Her hard glare challenged anyone to say otherwise. New quest. Find King, Queen, King, Queen, Queen, Karen. You discovered your first quest. Quest give a large experience point reward once completed. To view the quest screen, use Q key. Or click icon appeared at the top right of the screen. Okay. All right. Party management screen, you can also review and equip each character, check available skills, manage party inventory, and of course the quest screen. Okay. Your Highness. Brezza looked conflicted. Your mother appointed me as the enforcer of Amazon law, and I must decree if you leave the Citadel, you forfeit all support from the Amazon. What? When you abandon the Citadel, you abandon your title. That is what the Great Mothers dictated. Lauren took in a deep breath. She would be denied the armory, the military, or even access to the royal treasury. Then so it must be. I will find my mother by myself. Lauren! Majesty, do not apologize, Commander. You are doing your duty, and the Queen will honor that when she returns. 
The Amazons may not be able to help you, but we will give you a promising individual who will aid you. The monk pauses for a moment, looking at what was just written before continuing. And that is how it all began. Lauren is a powerful fighter, but lacks healing skills. Your playable character has the specialization class Hero. That will be very helpful throughout the whole game. Now it is time to choose your character. Click Saren, a male human. He has been a slave for his entire life, born from a captured Imperial soldier. Eleanor, female elf. She traded her freedom for protection at a very young age. Well, I'm a guy, so I think I'll go with Saren. Warriors have lots of hit points, can wear heavy armor, but move slowly and have limited long-range combat skills. Thieves are very quick and can inflict deadly blows to incapacitated targets, but have fewer hit points and cannot wear heavy armor. Hmm. Let's... Let's warrior it up. Warriors can absorb lots of damage so they can be positioned in the front row. Early stages, don't have to worry too much about dying. Okay. You want me to travel with a man? She surveyed the young man more than but warily. Males were not well received among the Amazons. Their only function was seen to be as means to procreate. We found a lot of talent in him, your majesty. Please hear him out. It's an honor to meet you, princess. He bowed to her deeply. He is the son of our strongest warrior and most loyal slave. He has received their greatness, and he has also demonstrated a talent in healing. There is no doubt he will be a faithful servant. Is that true, man? Speak. Yes, your highness. I have served you and Her Majesty dutifully at the... Strength is the primary attribute of warriors. Hmm. Hmm. Magic, strength, skill. At the... At the training grounds. As a combat instructor. Younglings, but he was soon instructing even some elders. You know, he's a man. He has earned his students' respect. Raise your face to me. Yes, I do recognize you. You have met my blade before. I have had the many pleasures of sparring with your highness. You are one of the difficult ones. Most do not last that long against me. Gain plus two of strength. Yay. He shows the lineage of great warriors when he battles others. He has displaced his elder predecessor in the training grounds easily, making him the youngest sparring master in our history. How did you manage such a feat? Speak. I can hold my own in battle. For the last several annual proving competitions, I have been sponsored to enter and have won many titles. For this year's proving, I was granted top place in... Mm. The Target Challenge. Yes, his skill with the bow and arrows rivals even that of an Amazon's. Oh, that's a skill plus two. Oh, okay. Not only has he demonstrated superior fighting ability, he is extremely loyal. Tell them. I was allowed the honor of accompanying my mistress to the tavern where she was disrespected by several rude drunkards. They were looking for a fight, so I... offered to teach them a lesson! It is true, he respected his mistress deeply as he will respect you. He did not fail to... Huh. I showed my loyalty by giving her... A beautiful bug. I see. Huh. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna change this up. Okay, so. I think I'm gonna go with Saren. Again. But I'm gonna choose Thief. 
Weaker than warriors stay in the back, though if well equipped can sustain some damage. Remember you can use Lauren's guard action to protect any thief or mage positioned in the back row. Yes, you're traveling with a guy. Okay. Yes, I can have a lot more skill. I like skill, because this is um, thief attack power. Yeah, yeah. Skill plus strength. I see. Okay. I'm going to focus on skill stuff. So I served her dutifully at the... Royal Palace. That should give me skill. Yes! Plus two in skill. I do anything she asks of me. I've not seen you around the palace. My mother has already has a personal servant, and he is not you. Seren belongs to the Queen's harem. He has proof of deep loyalty and obedience. Even more than over mother's company, Seren was one of the more handsomer slaves she'd encountered. <laughs> ha 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 ha! Are not of use to me, so do not expect to share the same duties. <laughs> yes, ma'am. What actual use will you be to me? The actual service to the queen was far more illicit, and that his position in the queen's harem was only a front. He was a spy and assassin. I know my way around the battlefield. For the last several annual proving competitions, I've been sponsored to enter and have won many titles. For this year's proving, I was granted top place in the target challenge. Rivals that of the Amazons. Yay, small crossbow! Not only has he demonstrated superior fighting ability, but he is extremely loyal. Tell them. I was allowed the honor, the honor of accompanying my mistress to the tavern, where she was disrespected by several rude drunkards. They were looking for a fight, so I sneaked my mistress. I was able to save her from an unnecessary fight. I distracted them while she slipped outside and cloaked myself to make my escape as well. More skill. It is true, he respected his mistress deeply, as he will respect you. He did not fail to craft a presence for his mistress for the winter solstice. Tell her what was the last gift you made. I showed my loyalty by giving her a beautiful bow. I carved a ceremonial bow to represent my mistress's superior skill in archery to all of the Citadel. She allowed me to use the bow in the proving competitions, earning the envy of all. Lots of skill! Yay! She received the gift very well, and I was praised. I was happy just to give her a small emblem of her great strength and wisdom. Unfortunately, even my mighty mistress was not invincible. She succumbed to a grave illness, and in her last days, she called me to her side. She granted me one reward for my service. And I chose... Her armor has kept me safe and secure. I'm sometimes confused for my mistress because it is so resembles her. I feel as if she is with me even now. Plus two skill, more leather armor, I have all of the skill, yay. And his loyalty does not end there, your highness. Saren has demonstrated an act of true servant of the Citadel. I was approached by another slave. They spoke of fantastic lands of cities, life away from the Citadel. I associated this with the person with this person to the point that he confided in me a plan to escape. He wished for me to come with him, and I... Ugh. Um... <sighs> me... Convinced him not to escape. I needed to only explain to him the benefits of staying and how marvelous the Citadel already was. He would have surely been helpless if he left our wall, so I attempted to save his life and thankfully he listened. Such a skilled tongue will very likely be useful to you on your travels. I had no idea what that was going to give me, so oh well. It will be a difficult loss to let go of our most prized slave, however I will trust you with no one less, my princess. Hmm. Oh, and now, of course, you can start over. I'm pretty satisfied overall. I didn't get that, but I'm pretty sure that was reporting him to the authorities, and I am i really didn't want to do that, so... I'll continue with what I got. 
Are you willing to put your life on the line for my cause? Without hesitation. I suppose you will be satisfactory. Lauren demanded an immediate departure, as leaving could not be too soon with her mother missing. Chapter 1. The Rescue Please select your game difficulty. Oh. Oh. Um. I'll go with normal. This difficulty level, you should be able to win most battles by trying different combinations of weapons or heroes. However, the boss battles can be tough. Remember, if you find the game too easy or too hard, you can change the difficulty at any time. Okay. That's good. I like that. If I can change it at any time. Lauren instructed Saren to take care of any business in the Citadel before they left. You will be able to shop in each town you travel to. At the start, you only have basic equipment and are carrying a few potions. Potions will be very useful in some battles, especially at the hard difficulty level. All items you will be store you own will be stored in the party inventory, accessed by pressing the I key. Hmm. What are we looking at? Okay, so we've got Saren and we've got Lauren. Lauren is a warrior and a blade master. She's got her dual blades and some other equipments and whatnot. Ha 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 ha. Um, so I think I'll save it here, and I will see you all next time. Hey, this is RPG at Will. I hope you liked this episode of Lore and the Amazon Princess. If you want to check out some of my other material, you can click on my channel link below, or you can even subscribe if you'd like. I like to do some silly songs on the side, along with my RPG work. If you want to see some more group-oriented stuff, there's another channel called Gaming Idiots TV that I take part in. That's where we do all our group stuff, so I'll provide a link below if you want to check it out there. See you next time.